Okay, my little friends. So today I thought it would be really fun to make some rainbow eucalyptus trees. These are eucalyptus trees and they're called rainbow eucalyptus trees because they kind of look like they have a rainbow in the middle of them. Okay, see the, see the, um, the lines and they actually really do look like this. These might have been brightened up a little bit, but they do look like this in real life. So we're going to do some of that, okay? And we're going to start out with some regular foamy shaving cream. And we're going to shake it up, take off the top, and put some in here. Okay. And we can take a brush anything really I probably shouldn't be using this brush but I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit you can use a butter knife you can use a fork okay and press this down in here a little bit spreading it out in my box this is just an old Amazon box you guys probably have a lot of those around you can use a retainer of any kind okay so I'm going to create my trees now I'm going to take some tubes of paint that I have these are acrylic but you can use tempera paint and you can use the little bottles of paint too and I'm going to let's see which way do I want to go maybe I will go in um, let's make little stripes like that so I'll put some purple down. And you don't have to do the exact colors that you saw in the picture. You can have fun with it. So purple turquoise. A bit of green. So far I've done the purple, the turquoise, the green. I'm gonna put some orange in here. And some yellow. Maybe I'll even put a little bit of brown. Let me see if I can find some brown. You don't have to have all these colors. You can do whatever color you want. Okay, a little bit of brown in there. And then Hang on a minute. I'm going to have my kids a little bit of music. Okay. I'm going to take a fork. Okay, my fork. I'm just going to drag this up and down. Super fun. down, dragging, dragging, dragging this through one more time, and then down and up here. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off on the edge. Okay, look how cool this is. Kind of looks the same. Whoops. Which one did I have? Which picture? Not sure which picture I had now, but anyway, we'll choose another. Kind of looks the same, right? Was it this one? Similar, right? So we will now take a piece of white construction paper. Okay, it's about the same size as um, printer paper. I wouldn't use printer paper though because it's just not heavy enough. Okay, and it will. Um, Shaving cream colors will seep through the printer paper. It probably won't look very nice. So I'm going to set this down right here and gently push. Just letting the colors get onto my paper. Okay, don't press too hard. You don't want it to pop out the edges. And then you're going to gently lift up. 
then you're going to have something that looks like this. I'm going to set it aside. Set this board down. Set the paper down, sorry. Okay, and I'm going to grab paper towel. Okay, my paper towel. Okay. And I'm going to just wipe this. Okay, we're going to wipe downward. Wiping downward. Get that extra shaving cream off. Okay. You can just wipe all the way down, spreading it across. Want to just wipe that off. Okay, so here's my paper. I'm going to take this and set it aside and let it dry. Okay, now I also have another piece here. So if I want to, just for fun. I take my shaving cream again and I can go back this way just kind of blending colors okay set this back down again press lifting up I want to I can take my fork and I can just start making some really cool fun designs on my paper forth just kind of spread your paint around have fun with it this is kind of cool right here okay and then we can take it and wipe it off See what happens. See what kind of cool marbling paper we get. This is a little messy, so you want to make sure if you're going to do this, do it either outside or in an area that doesn't really matter if it gets dirty. I have an old sheet on my table. So that's pretty cool the way that came out okay and you could always kind of maybe want a little bit more color here at the top so I'm just gonna see what happens if I add a little bit more color put some color down these areas here mess. <laughs> so you 
you get some nice stripes in here. And you can always rinse off your fork and if your colors start to get a little muddy. And I have another one here, so I'm just gonna scrape the rest of this off. one of my lesson. I'm going to put these outside to dry somewhere where they won't blow away and then we'll come back and finish our trees. Okay, go put your project outside to dry. <laughs>